ICT NCERT presents audiobook Mathematics for Economics. Page 10. Module 3 Linear Equations in Two Variables. 3.1 Graph of Linear Equations in Two Variables. A linear equation in two variables is of particular interest in economics. For example, x plus 3y minus 2 equals 0 or equivalently, x plus 3y is equal to 2 is a linear equation in two variables, x and y. Unlike a linear equation in one variable, which has only one real root or solution, a linear equation in two variables has infinitely many solutions. For example, if you choose to substitute x equal 1 and y equal to 1 by 3 in the equation x plus 3y equals 2, then both sides will become equal implying that x is equal to 1, y is equal to 1 by 3 is one solution of this equation. On the other hand, if you choose x equals minus 1 and y equals 1 in the equation, then also it gets satisfied implying that x is equal to minus 1, y equals 1 is another solution of the same equation. To get more solutions, you just keep on changing the value of one variable and adjusting the value of the other variable to equate the two sides. Let us try few of the various solutions of this linear equation in two variables as mentioned in the table. The table has 10 columns and two rows. The first row represents x and its values. The second row represents y and its values. The values for x as represented in row 1 are blank, minus 3, Minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, blank. The values for y are blank, 5 by 3, 1, minus 2 by 3, 1 by 3, 0, minus 1 by 3, 2 by 3, blank. Please note that the value of y must equal 2 minus x by 3, which is just another way of writing the equation x plus 3y equals 2. The solutions of a linear equation in two variables are not real numbers, but ordered pair of real numbers. It is a convention to always write the value of the x variable as the first number of the pair. We represented a real number on the real number line. In order to represent a pair of real numbers, we require two real number lines. In Cartesian coordinate system, these two number lines are drawn perpendicular to each other as we can understand from figure 5. Figure 5, Cartesian coordinate system, page 11. The horizontal line is used to place the values of x variable and is called the x-axis. The vertical line is used to place the values of y variable and is called the y-axis. The two lines intersect at the origin, that is, where x is equal to 0 and y is also is equal to 0. Origin is denoted by the capital letter O. On the horizontal axis, the values to the right and left of the origin are positive and negative values of x respectively. On the vertical axis, the values above and below the origin are positive and negative values of y respectively. The values increase as we move from left to right or from below to upward. These two lines together represent a two-dimensional xy plane where the two perpendicular axes are two dimensions. Any point in this xy plane corresponds to
to a unique ordered pair of real numbers. For example, point 1, 2, as mentioned in figure 5, means at this point x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. In any ordered pair representing points in the xy plane, the first number is called the x-coordinate and the second number is called the y-coordinate. Here coordinates represent the location of a point with respect to the origin. For example, the point 1, 2 in figure 4 represents a horizontal distance of one unit to the right of origin combined with a vertical distance of two units above the origin. Figure 6 Two-dimensional xy plane The intersecting lines divide the plane into four parts. These parts are also known as quadrants. The northeastern quadrant is called the first quadrant. In this quadrant, both variables only take positive values. For example, point 2, 2 in figure 6 lies in the first quadrant. The northwestern quadrant is called the second quadrant. In this quadrant, x variable only takes positive whereas y variable only takes negative values. For example, minus 2, 2 lies in second quadrant. The southwestern quadrant is called the third quadrant. In this quadrant, both variables only take negative values. For example, minus 2, comma minus 2 lies in third quadrant. Page 12. The southeastern quadrant is called the fourth quadrant. In this quadrant, y variable only takes positive values, whereas x variable only takes negative values. For example, 2, comma minus 2 lies in fourth quadrant. Figure 7. Graph of a linear equation in two variables. All the solutions of equation x plus 3y is equal to 2 are some points in this xy plane. These solutions lie on a straight line as represented in figure 7. In order to draw this line in two-dimensional plane, we just need any two points on the line, that is, any two solutions of the equation x plus 3y is equal to 2. The easiest points to find are the ones which lie on the 2 axis. The point on y axis is found by putting x is equal to 0 in the equation. Because if you are on the y axis, then you are not at all away from the origin in horizontal direction, implying that x is equal to 0 along the y-axis and getting y is equal to 2 by 3. The first point is thus 0, 2 by 3. The point on x-axis is found by putting y is equal to 0 in the equation and getting x is equal to 2. The second point is thus 2, 0. When we connect these two points using a ruler, then we get a straight line representing a set of solutions of the linear equation x plus 3y is equal to 2. This straight line represents the linear equation x plus 3y is equal to 2 and is known as the graph of this equation. Do the solutions of all linear equations in two variables lie on a straight line in the xy plane? In other words, are the graphs of all linear equations in two variables straight lines? The answer is yes. Page 13 Linear equations in two variables always have straight line graphs. Moreover, all the solutions of the linear equation are some points on its straight line graph. Therefore, we use the terms 
linear equation in two variables and straight line interchangeably. The x-axis and the y-axis are themselves both straight lines in xy plane with equations y is equal to 0 and x is equal to 0 respectively. At any point on the x-axis, y-coordinate will be 0 and x-coordinate will be any real number. Similarly, x-coordinate of any point on y-axis will be 0. Suppose you are given an equation x is equal to 2. Although this is a linear equation in one variable, but it can be rewritten as the following linear equation in two variables. x plus 0y is equal to 2. What values of x and y solve this equation? Let us represent the set of solutions in the form of a table. In this table, we have two rows and 10 columns. In the first row, the value of x is as follows. Blank, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, blank. In the second row, the value of y is as follows. Blank, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, blank. Note that in any solution, the value of x remains constant at 2, whereas the value of y could be any real number. In other words, all ordered pairs with x is equal to 2 represent the solutions of the linear equation x is equal to 2 in the xy plane. How would the graph of x is equal to 2 look like? It will be a vertical straight line parallel to the y-axis and passing through all points for which the value of x is equal to 2 as represented in figure 7. Similarly, the graph of equation y is equal to minus 3 will be a horizontal straight parallel to the x-axis and passing through all points for which the value of y is equal to minus 3 as represented in figure 8. Graph of linear equation in one variable. This has already been discussed earlier. Page 14. 3.2 Economic application of linear equation in two variables. In economics, we come across consumer budget line while talking about the theory of consumer behavior. A consumer's budget line is a linear equation in two variables, in which the variables are the units of good 1 and good 2. It shows different combinations of two goods that can be chosen by the consumer with a given level of income when she or he spends the entire income. A general form of budget line is represented as P1X plus P2Y is equal to M, where P1 and P2 is the price of good 1 and good 2 respectively and X and Y are units of good 1 and good 2 respectively. M is the total money income that a consumer has. Let's say that the price of chocolate is rupees 2 per unit and price of ice cream is rupee 1 per unit. The total money income that Raju has is rupees 10. The budget line of Raju can be written as 2x plus y is equal to 10. From this equation, we can find out different combinations of goods that can be chosen by Raju. The combinations of goods will be the only solutions of this budget line in form of ordered pair of real numbers. To find out the solutions of the budget line, 
just keep on changing the value of one variable and adjusting the value of other variable to equate the two sides. Some solutions are represented in the table. Note that the consumption of chocolate and ice cream is never negative. So we will take only the positive values of variables. The table has seven columns and two rows. Row 1, values of x. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Row 2, values of y. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. 0, 10, 1, 8. 2, 6, 3, 4. 4, 2 and 5, 0 are different bundles of good 1 and good 2 that can be consumed by Raju. These different combinations of goods can be plotted on the positive quadrant of two-dimensional XY plane to draw a budget line. The X axis is used to place units of chocolates and Y axis is used to place units of ice cream. Figure 9 is a graph of a budget equation. All solutions of the budget line equation lie on a straight line as represented in the figure. We get the budget line by connecting all the bundles of goods. The x-axis represents good 1. The y-axis represents good 2. On each of the axes are plotted points with a unit distance of 2. 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. When points corresponding to each are plotted on the graph, there is a line connecting them. The first point corresponds with 0 and 10 on the x and y axis respectively. The second point corresponds with 2 and 6 on the x and y axis respectively. Point 3 corresponds with 4 and 2 on the x and y axis respectively. And the fourth point corresponds with the x and y axis 5 and 0. When these points are connected, the line represents the equation 2x1 plus x2 equals 10. Test your understanding. Kabir wants to buy milk and cookies. He has a total of rupees 50. The price of milk is rupees 10 per unit and price of cookies is rupees 5 per unit. 1. Write down the different combinations of milk and cookies that can be chosen by Kabir. 2. Plot these combinations on a two-dimensional graph. 3. Draw the budget line of Kabir. You were just listening to this chapter. Subject Coordinator Dr. Jaya Singh Production Assistant Jagbandhu Jana Sound Recordist Batilang Lindo and Vikas Sangwan Artists Anandana Kapoor and Akash Ahuja Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary and presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi India <laughs>